Okay, so this is the, the first episode of this new Lua Love 2D tutorial. And we're going to start with a list of programs you're going to need. So you're probably going to need Notepad++ for its usefulness. You're going to need Love 64-bit. Not necessarily 64, but whatever your bit your computer runs. So I have 64-bit. You're also going to need... Um, uh, uh, WinRAR, probably, because... You then need to make a file for your game. So first of all, we're going to need to make. Uh, we need to know about Love 2D. Love 2D is a game engine for uh, Lua, so it can run on any PC with Love 2D, but it can be exported as an executional. So you can make proper games with Love 2D. So first of all, we're going to want to make a folder. So we're going to make a new folder, and we're going to call it. Um, not new folder, we're going to call it Love 2D Game because I have no idea what, sort of, what it should be called so we can open this and what we're going to need is a zip file so but first we're going to need to make the actual file so if we go into notepad++ make a new file and we're going to go file new no. So we're, this is going to be our uh, config file. I've already made a config file, so I'll just make that one. So a conf this is this this is a file and it's called conf. And I'm going to make the language to Lua. That's what we're programming in. And so far we're going to make our. Uh, so this is your choice. So this is a file called which is going to be the config file. So the title of the game, so what's on the top of the game. So like here it says uh, asterisk new space 2. So this is what we want our title to be. So we're going to call it uh, the game of games or something. This comes with it. So you can just copy this config file. There's more config, but this is all you really need. Make author. So the author of this game. Let me see the point. But you can just add it up anyway. Uh, screen width, so you're going to leave that 320, so the width in pixels of the screen, and 240. And later on, I'll tell you why we've made it this size. It's very small, but we can change it. So, first of all, uh, we're going to go into uh, desktop, and we should find a folder, Love 2D Game. And this is, we have to call this file conf. So conf got lower. Next, we're going to make our main file. This is going to be the main source file. So in Love 2D, the first thing we're going to need is a function called uh, first we'll change this to Lua. And so our first thing is we're going to need is a function called Love. Uh, like a function. That is love dot load and has no parameters, so I'm assuming with this all that you know a bit about Lua. So this is the function, and then end it here. So love dot load is a function in the Love Game Engine, only in the Love Game Engine, which is called exactly when the uh, window is created in a conf file, and this is what's first called. So I think for our first initial game, we're going to initial. We're going to make uh, two variables. One that goes by the name of px equals zero. Uh, we can start that up. Uh, two hundred or or just ten. And py equals two hundred. And p w equals 30 and p h equals 30 so these are just variables that we have now made and so next of all we're going to use another function function love dot draw this function is always called and will be repeated uh, forever and love.draw basically is where you put your drawing things. So 
it's under the files love dot uh, love dot graphics dot, and then put them. If you want to see any more of the different different types of uh, uh, functions and stuff, I'll link a description. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for the wiki. So under love dot draw, we will do uh, love dot graphics dot uh, rectangle. So now this is going to draw on keyboard. Uh, this is now going to draw. Uh, this is now going to draw a rectangle. And first parameter it's going to take is if it, if we want it to be just like outline or filled in. So we're going to pick fill. So it's filled in and. Our other co uh, our coordinates. So first of all, the p the x position. So the top right of the screen here is zero zero, and at the bottom uh, is I don't know. So uh, we're going to do p x to be our. So it's just from the right of our window, ten pixels to the the right. Uh, two ten pixels to the right from the left. P y. So next, so this is our y coordinate. So how high or how low? So high being uh, towards uh, a high, no a big number towards the bottom, like a, a small number towards the top. And then our width of our, our shape is pw, and our height is well, well not with chemical, but ph. So this is going to draw a rectangle at those positions. So what we can also do before we do that maybe is use a function called love dot um, graphics dot set uh, back ground and now to take three parameters which is the red, the green and the blue. So what a suggestion is, you can go on something like uh, paint or something, and you can just uh, click on the edit color, I believe. Edit colors, yeah. And uh, you can pick your color here, and it will tell you about the red, the green, and the blue. At the moment, we're well, black, so it doesn't have any. That's how color works. So now, let's go for this color for the back. Uh, for the background, I think we need a bluish color. So there you go. So now we can copy our red into here. Um, then we can copy our green into here. Now we can copy our blue. This is a nice way to get the RGB, as it's called, color. From uh, this scroll one, white paint. Um, there we go. So this at, at the moment, what this is doing is uh, setting the background to that color and drawing a rectangle of those coordinates. So now you can save it and we'll put it under main. This has to be called main, otherwise it won't be able to find it. And now we're going to click on both of these and can hold control down. Or you can just drag it, but I'll hold control down and click on both of them. Right click. Add to, uh, we're going to, um, you can use whatever archive you want. So we're going to add to archive. We want to make, I think uh, it's a zip, and it's not going to be called love2dgame.zip. We're going to change it to love2dgame.love. The .love file extension is a type of zip file which is going to hold all of our files that we've created and click OK. Now we have. And now because we have Love2D installed, it will come up as a Love2D game. So this, now when we double click on this, it will execute our game. So let's go. Oh. Error. Oh, let's just leave that out for now. So double, uh, double dash, <laughs> not Mario. But double dash to just like, comment it out. So 
Now you can save this again. But when we do, when we have to resave it, you have to drag it into. Uh, what we want to do is open, uh, open with Windows Archiver. And now what we can do is go on. And now what we can do is just drag uh, main.lua into uh, Windows and say, do you want to copy this? And say yes. And now what it's done is updated uh, the archive. So now you can run it again. Now we can run it again. And now we have a little, little white box in the corner of the screen. So it doesn't do anything, but it's there. We can do much uh, more interesting things in the future, but this is just a beginning of, of where we can go. Eventually, I'll sh also show you how to make Dingu games if you know what a Dingu is. And uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.